This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. Although we have explored various formulas for string manipulation and date manipulation within Crystal Reports, a very real use of any of those formulas is in calculating age. Age being an annual variable is never stored in the database. The fixed value of somebody's date of birth is what is stored and then we need to calculate their age at the given time on a given report. To carry out the calculation of age we're going to use the basic listing report which is available in your working folders. We then need a new formula field. Let's select right click new sensible name for the field would probably be age. OK. Now in order to work out how old somebody is, we simply need to take away the difference between today's date and their date of birth. The function for today's date is accessible from the function list under the date and time section. So that's current date minus the person's date of birth, date of birth. That in itself sounds simple enough. Unfortunately, that will only produce the number of days between the person's date of birth and the current date. And we'd like to know how old they are in years. So if I place all of that formula in brackets, because I would then like to divide by 365.25, which is the number of days in a year, allowing for leap years, one every four, so I have the current date, take away the date of birth. The reason I need these open and closed brackets around the takeaway is so that the takeaway is actioned first before the divide. Without those brackets, it will try and divide the date of birth by 365.25, which it can't do, so an error will ensue. That will now give me everybody's date of birth in years. However, because of the division by 0.25, everybody's age will have a lot of decimal places in it. So I'm going to take the whole of this formula and place it inside another formula, which is int, which will return the integer value, the whole number, effectively removing any decimal place values. No rounding up, no rounding down. So I have one calculation taking place, then the divide, and then finally show me the integer value. So I've got embedded formulas there. Better check I've got the brackets right. It seems happy. OK. Save and close. InDesign will make a little bit of space for that age. I don't think the first name field needs to be so large. And in that little bit of space there, I can drop the person's age. Tidy the label up. Format Painter, Format Paint, select those two, line tops, same size. And if everything's working, we should now see the ages of our employees. 43, 29, 61. The field itself needs formatting to remove the decimal places. The int has taken the decimal place values off, but the formatting will remove the actual zeros that are then left. So let's right click format field, choose one without decimal places on, and OK. Just center align both of those. Now every time the date changes, which obviously is every day, if that has a knock on effect of somebody's age changing, this report will reflect that because it's a calculation. It refreshes itself every time you refresh the report. So it may be that tomorrow any one of these people will be a different age. So that formula, just so you can view it again. Take today's date, remove the employee's date of birth from today's date and you'll be left with the difference in number of days. Take those number of days and divide them by 365.25 to return the number of years. But because of the 0.25 there will be a number of decimal places. Take all of that, place it inside the int function to remove the decimal places and you're left with the whole number of each person's age.
this formula is accurate to 400 years because every 400 years we have one less leap year. So at that point, the formula will be a quarter of a day out. Uh, as nobody reaches 400 years old, it's an adequate formula for calculating people's ages. Save and close, place it on the report, maybe change the formatting a little, and you have it working.